Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I wanna talk about what is UDF, what can you do with UDF, what is macro, and the syntax of creating new macro. After that, I will program variable heat source by source macro. At the end, I will show you what will happen if you use source macro improperly in Fluent. UDF is a function that you program to Fluent solve new equation or create your desired boundary conditions for you. By UDF, you can have your desired boundary conditions, for example, velocity boundary condition which changes with time or position of your particle. And you can have your desired thermodynamics or heat transfer properties. For example, heat transfer coefficient that varies with time. And you can and at the end you can have your desired contour or and so more. Macro is the function that you define to do those jobs for you. Each macro will do a specific work for you. For example, by property macro, you can have variable thermodynamics or heat transfer properties like variable convection, convection coefficient. Note that each UDF has include UDF.h at the top of it, which shows that you are you are using UDF library of the C and note that you should save UDF file with the format of C. C program is case sensitive and you should create your function's name properly. To create your function, you have to first define macro and set the first parameter of these of these two, the name of oh, name of your UDF, and the other parameter is the data that you want to pass to Fluent. In each macro, you can have some data for your from your computer memory, like current time, position of particle, and so more. Now let's start writing our code. At the first line, I write hash include include udf dot h to have udf library, and the second line I define my macro, which is source macro. And then I assign the name of my UDF to variable heat source. And then I will pass my data to it. Which the first one is your cell, the cell of that part, and the second one is thread, and the last one is your equation. After that, I will define my variable. Note that you should put semicolon at the end of all your lines. And then I get my current time by this code. This code gets your current time and the time essay which you are at and assign it to the time and then I write my source equation which is 
10,000 times time. In this line, I should say that my equation is velocity independent. So I assign this parameter to zero. And at the last line, I return my source equation for the fluid. In the next part, I will insert my UDF file to the parts of my geometry and show you what will happen there. Now let's load our UDF. I will do that by going to user define and then function and then interpret. After that, I will go to my path and select my UDF file and press interpret. Dances is loading my UDF. After that, I should set my flow type, which is transient, because my heat source is time dependent. After that, going to model and turn on energy equation. After that, I should Insert my UDF file on the geometry and I want insert my UDF file on solid part of my geometry. So going to cell zone condition solid and check the source there and going there. Add one heat source and select my UDF file and then press OK. After that, I should set my boundary condition, which I have velocity boundary condition at inlet, and I assign it to 0.007. And at outlet, I have zero gauge pressure. So now I can uh, initialize my solution. I will hybrid initialize my solution. So I check hybrid initialize and then press initialize. Here the initialization is done. After that I should set my time step size which is one second and number of time step which is 100 time steps and number of iteration in each time step which is 20 and press calculate and wait to solve the problem. Now my calculation is completed and I wanna show you temperature contour. So I go to graphics, contours, and then select temperature and select the position which I want to show you the temperature contour and then display. Here you can see my temperature is like that. The maximum is 321 and the minimum is 300. The last thing I wanna show you is the error when you use your UDF file improperly. So I go to boundary condition for example and then insert my UDF file on this part. Here you can see my UDF file is here and select it and then OK. Here you can see this error is showed and the program is closed. So be careful and use your UDF file properly. Thank you for watching.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna me create more video for you, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Good luck.